Find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi guys, my name is Nitsan and welcome back to Nitsan TV. I am a filmmaker and photographer here in the UK and uh, if you don't know me, I talk a lot. Um, today I'm reviewing the cheapo slidery thing. Uh, this is a no-name slider from China. Uh, you can get these in the UK, um, but you know I think it comes out about the same price because if you order from China, sometimes you have to pay import tax. So um, and you have to wait longer, and if you have to return it, it's more expensive. So I'd probably get it in the UK. Um, that's where I got mine from. Uh, it's 150 from China, 200 within the UK in pounds. That is so it's up until right after I bought mine, it was the cheapest. Right now, uh, the Canova K2 is the same price but with better features so um i'll go over the different sliders i've used and compare them to this uh but first with this really quickly um i'll be posting two videos one of them is a bad review this one is more of a good review because first i got a faulty unit and then i sent the carriage back and then they sent me back another faulty carriage so i am um so i sent the whole thing back and they sent me a whole different unit now and I send them you know I asked them for a refund and they said uh, they didn't want to refund me or they were taking ages to do it and so I said fine just send me one back uh, but check that it works so I saw that they opened the packaging they tested it and there are no bumps like the faulty ones that I'd received where the wheels had bumps in them uh, which which did transfer into the camera it was really bad shake it was unusable uh, I've posted an example, which I posted to show the seller, so there's no voiceover on that, but it's just a, an example of uh, something I'd shot. And um, I'll make that public and link to it. Uh, it's on my YouTube. So um, that's basically just to show you how bad a slider like this could be if it has bumps in the wheels. I think it was just one wheel that was bad. Um, but uh, yeah, this one does not have bumps. It's nice and smooth, it's nice and solid. Uh, no play that I can see. I mean, I will, I'm going to do some tests, see how big of a setup I can put on here. Um, with a small camera, yes, definitely fine. No bumps in the wheels. Um, makes a little bit of noise, but most sliders do. Um, the, the, these things, they are not removable, which is, I mean, you, you can you remove them with an Allen key, at which point your camera will fly straight off the slider. So, uh, you have to keep these on, which makes the, the you have to carry a bigger case, which means they couldn't afford to pad the case, which is annoying. Uh, whereas with the other ones at the same price, like the Canova K2, I'm pretty sure you get a um, a padded case. Uh, as well as the fact that these things right in the corner, if it gets any hits, it could really actually uh, either damage something else or someone else. If someone gets a hit from the head, even through the case, you know, uh, there's not much padding in the corner. So you could either hurt, hurt someone or damage something, or you could simply break your um, slider. So um, again, that's another place where the Canova K2 uh, would, at the same price, might be better, but I'll get to that in a minute, because I haven't tried the K2, I've only tried the K5, which is the biggest version they have. Um, so I don't like the fact that they didn't just drill right into the base of this, like they've done with all the other sliders. Um, I'm guessing it may have been too thin to drill into, but they could have um, taken this and just positioned it right in the middle. What you could do is you could take this off and you could position a mounting point uh, right in the um, right in the center. Uh, I mean, if you drilled it and you tapped it, if you have those tools, you could do that. If not, this is fine, kind of. I don't like the fact that it's a little bit offset from the um, from the tripod. So the weight is just slightly off the middle, off the center on the tripod. I don't like that. Um, the uh, Another thing is the comparison between the different sliders. So um, smoothness wise, all of them are good, kind of. Uh, the Canova K5, I only tried in a shop and it had, it was either grit or it was faulty. Uh, there were bumps in the wheels the same as, very similar to what I felt with the faulty unit I had to send back. 
of this cheaper one. So I don't know if it was just grit in there or if it really was faulty and they wouldn't let me test out a new unit, uh, which is why I didn't buy one. Um, the the Veravon, I tried that. Uh, it's nice and smooth. It feels like there's some sort of bumpiness, some sort of like, I can hear a little bit of sort of rattling noise as it moves. Not rattling, but sort of a, you get what I mean. But um, but it did not transfer into the footage. It was so minute um, that it did not transfer into the footage as a shake. So that was fine. But it did shake a little bit from the fact that the, it simply could not hold the weight of uh, an adapter and a tripod head and a camera. So if you're using the, the, the Veravon with a small camera or a really small head or something like an NEX or even a slightly bigger camera, a Canon but without a big head setup, that's pretty nice but a little more expensive. So that's the Veravon. And the one I tried was the light version. The, I think it's called the Slide Cam Lite. Really tiny, not actually much lighter than the Canova, but really tiny. Uh, so wouldn't really, just because it looks smaller, I don't think that would actually, uh, I mean, it is slightly lighter, but not by much, uh, not noticeably lighter. Um, now they, they both, uh, well, the, um, the Veravon and the Canova come in better cases than this one does. I've not tried the Canova K2, which is at the same price as this, but the features are better. It's got removable feet which are nicer to use. They take like a second to put, to take on and off, um, which is nice. And, um, and they're nicer to adjust. And uh, yeah, they, they don't get in the way like, like these feet do. And it's nice and it comes in a padded case, uh, I think. Uh, same with the Veravon, I think it comes in a padded case. And the last one is the Wandlan. And uh, that's one that I was really surprised about. It was fantastic. Uh, it was the smoothest I'd tried so far. And I've used quite a lot of sliders. Um, I think seven or so. A few of them were like um, one of them. I don't even remember the name of it. It was some. It was uh, one of the first sliders. Maybe one of you guys will know and post in the comments. But it was um, like a, a square rail with like a thing that I clamped on top of it, and it was just like friction based. And it was one of the first cheapo sliders. I don't know. I haven't had a uh, heard anyone using them in a few years. But uh, I used one of those. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the, the Wonderland was the smoothest. Uh, and it was the most stable, I think. Uh, at least one of the most stable. It was really, really stable with, uh, with a head setup. Um, with, a, I think it was a big, I forgot which Manfrotto, 502 I think I used with it. Um, and, and a 5D. So, and it was really, really stable. Um, unfortunately, really ugly. The feet look like they've just been hacked with a hacksaw and just like put on here. It's like the most cheapest. I mean, it looks almost DIY. Um, and so it doesn't look that professional with the feet, but I guess you could just use it without the feet. Uh, it's not like this where the feet have to be connected to it to stop the camera from flying off. So, uh, and it also comes in a really ugly blue case. Um, so, and it's expensive. Uh, it's about the same price as the biggest Canova. Here in the UK, it's a little bit cheaper, just by a little bit. Um, so, um, yeah, I like the Wonderland. It's just a bit on the expensive side. Um, I'm willing to uh, accept the fact that it's ugly and just use it. Um, so, I hope I've covered everything. If not, I'll post something in the description. Uh, basically, this thing, for the price, it's good. I don't know if it is as um, good as the K2 Canova, which is the only thing at the same price as this for the length. Um, by the way, I guess sliders just don't work as well as. Uh, the reason why these are better than friction-based sliders, uh, I've had um, quite a few of those. Uh, is just the fact that you cannot pan and move at the same time or pan, tilt, anything like that. If you want to do a move where, you know, you're moving along and you want to pan, 
You can do it, but you have to keep the pan at a very consistent speed. You can't, you know, um, move and then start panning. You can't, uh, and even even just a, a pan and, and slide. It's difficult. It's doable, but it's difficult. But then if you want to do something like, you know, follow a subject along and then tilt down to see what's in the subject's hand or something like that, no way, not going to happen. Whereas with one of these and a good head, you can do that. So that's why roller bearing sliders are actually much better. Um, so I hope I've covered everything. Any questions, ask me below, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you in the next video.